They give me the question, L is directly proportional to M squared, and L is 20 when M is 2. Find the value of M when L is 245. Oh dear, a lot of information, and let's make some sense of it. First of all, they say, directly proportional. So, we're talking about variation, direct proportion, if you like. And immediately, I can already write down my first step, because these questions consist out of doing three steps, where the first one is writing down the general equation, y equals constant times x. However, in this case, they say L is directly proportional to m squared. So L is directly proportional to m squared. Okay? There we go. Then they say, well, when L is 20, m is 2. And they will always give you those values because you know that you have to find out what that constant is first. Yeah? Because you need to make the equation that belongs to this particular situation. L is 20 when m is 2. Now let's substitute that in this equation. L is 20, I'm doing it in green, and that equals k times when m is 2, 2 to the power 2. Yeah, so 20 equals 2 times 2 is 4, k times 4. And if we divide both sides by 4, uh, to get rid of that, to isolate k, then you'll get that k is 5. So the equation for this particular situation is L equals 5m squared. Okay, let me put there a blue box around now, considering we did it in green. L equals 5 times m to the power 2. Okay, I'm not finished yet, because I have to find the value of m when L is 245. Now I'm going to continue on a new piece of paper. So let me rewrite what we found. We said L equals 5m squared. And they're asking me now, do that like this. They're asking me to find m when l is 205, 245. So l is 245, and I have to find the value of m. And that is my third step. Okay, so I have to rearrange the formula. I'll divide both sides by 5. Yeah, so I isolate m squared. Now 245 um, divided by 5, that is going to be 49. Yeah, but you have a calculator to help you with that if you need it. m squared equals 49, then m will be the square root of 49, and that is going to be 7. So m equals 7, I will put a box around that. So, the person that is looking at our work can easily see what our final answer is. It can easily follow the steps we took to get to that final answer, which are far more important than just the answer by itself. So, with direct proportion, if I just go through it again very quickly, direct proportion, y equals kx. But now they say L is direct proportional to m squared. So, I write L equals k m squared, eh? L equals a constant times m to the power 2. They'll give me two values because you know that you have to find that constant. Yeah? L equals 20, m equals 2, 20 equals k times 2 to the power 2, 20 equals 4k, that means that k equals 25 by 4 is 5. So the general equation, not the general equation, the equation for this particular situation is L equals 5m squared. And they ask me then, what is m when l is 245? So 245 equals 5m squared. Divide both sides by 5. 49 equals m squared. So m is the square root of 49, which is 7. Direct proportion, all the best. You can do this as long as you know the three steps, as long as you understand the three steps you have to undertake. All the best.